very, very important when I finally figured out that I could do it because I was a super, super shy kid. Afraid to talk to my friends even sometimes. I was certainly afraid to talk to grown-ups. I was afraid to talk to teachers. I was looking out into the world I was seeing what there was to see, I was thinking about what I was seeing, and then I translated that into story. And you, maybe you have guts, which is what? Courage? Strength? What else do you have inside of you? Um, dreams. Dreams? terrible, terrible winds and storm and flooded. And the rest of us in the country watched and worried and wanted to help. What's your question? And he said, you know that pair of pants that we packed? And I said, yeah. He said, what boy is going to get my pants? <laughs> I don't know. And that was the end of that, right? I had no answer to that question, except that it wasn't the end of that because I couldn't stop thinking about that question. Who is going to get his pants? Because there was a real live boy, right? 1,600 miles away who was gonna open that bag and get those pair of pants. That's what I wanna write about. What if I could know who this boy was? And so that's how the story started. For me, stories always start with an idea or a question. And that took me a long time to figure out. Plot is a challenge for me. You know, everyone has, everyone has the thing they love to do, and even inside of the thing you love to do, challenge, right? Something that's a little harder, even though you love it. And so for me, plot is a tough thing. So I wrote and wrote and wrote. This is the first draft back here. See all the notes on this page? Yeah. This was a 250-page um, manuscript. 50 pages. Okay, she had a lot of issues, a lot of problems with what I was doing and said, go back, try again. So I did it again. Here's my second draft back here. Closer, but I wasn't there yet. This is a third draft. As you can see where all those sticky notes are, I still have plot problems. left to say. I could not figure out how to keep writing the book. I was stuck. You've heard of writer's block? I had writer's block. Courage to do something that's hard to do knowing how to dig down deep inside of you to find motivation to do something? Yes, keep on going even when you're not happy with the way it's turning out at the moment. Nobody's waiting for something and you have to rely on yourself <coughs> to motivate yourself, right? You have to say, it, this means so much to me that I'm gonna work on this even though no one is expecting me to. Right? Wake up in the morning and say to yourself, maybe this is the day that I'm going to figure this hard thing out. All of a sudden, something happened in Richmond in 2011. You guys were little, but do you remember? I remember. Yes. And it happened right to my house. So we had flooding 
in our basement and we lost all the things that were in our basement. Sensory details, things I could smell and see and hear that were happening to me that I had been trying to write about were happening to my characters. So I knew what it felt like to look outside your door and to think you're gonna see a park and to see an ocean. A load of clothing that was covered in blood mud and I knew what it smelled like to smell the mud after the water receded. This is a bin of all of the drafts of another kind of hurricane. There are 20 drafts in there. House to inspire me to remind me that it takes a long time to do something you love to do. Here's another look at those drafts all lined up on my block. Friends and community and people around them succeed better and faster and more often. You need people.